Well, hello, my YouTube family. Two down people. Two down. Three more to go. Will we make it? I don't know about after today. Because guess who's got another phone call project to do? I don't understand. I, what, why do I even bother? Why do I even bother explaining, trying to explain? There's no reason, reasoning behind the madness. There's no reasoning. And then why do you give me like such a short due date? You give me the project on Tuesday and you tell me to tell these people that whatever it is that I'm calling about isn't due on, until Thursday, not even Friday. Come to find out that other people in other departments who are doing the exact same thing, their due date is on Friday. So why did you give me Thursday again? And I'm the one that's got to deal with incoming calls, incoming people, people at my desk, questions being asked. Oh, Nancy, can you do? Oh, Nancy, did you get? But you want me to do this phone project also? And it's got to be due by Thursday? Like I, said, like I said the last time, we all have wishes, we all have dreams. I will do what I can. I can't, people. I can't. But I am. I can't, but I do. It's just as simple as that. I can't in my heart of hearts, but I continue to do so because I need a paycheck. I've been overdue for a scratch off for quite some time now. I need to get another one. Maybe tomorrow. I keep saying maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, and then I don't. But I will. I will. Eventually. Maybe not tomorrow. Maybe the day after. Who knows? Maybe before the end of the week. And um, did I tell you? Was it yesterday or was it today? Wow. These days are blending into each other like nobody's business. No, I think it was yesterday. I told you another one bit the dust, right? Yeah. It was a firing. It wasn't her choice. It was a firing. But I think she she did it to herself because she was taking massive amounts of days off. And come to find out, the grapevine, honey, the grapevine, that it was a toss-up between two being cut. She was there, I think, the longest. And the other one was there, maybe she came in a month or two afterwards. So it's usually the last one hired, the first one fired, but not in this particular case. And this other one that's walking a fine line, she better straighten up and fly right. She She's already got the attitude. Now, mind you, she's only been there four months. I've been there seven. She came after me and she's got the attitude like, like she's been there for like years. Sweetheart. First of all, you're as young as can be. So this, this whole, like you've worked a thousand years, nip it. Okay. I could run circles around you. Nip it. Okay. So, and then like, it's an inconvenience. Are you not there to do a job? I'm sorry if your job is inconvenient, but this whole sign and acting like you've been there, you cannot, you cannot let your guard down this early in the game. And in this day and age, you can't let your guard down at all. Okay, I kind of had to learn that the hard way. A multitude of times you can't let your guard down you you just can't and that's why I come I go to work stressed and I come home stressed but I'm I relieve I release it but the release is not long enough even on the weekends it's not long enough because I go to work stressed already it's just it's who I work for it's who I work for 
point blank period. It's just who I work for. The people, the people that I have to deal with don't really stress me out that much. Attitude and all, I can I can manage that. It's the person that I have to report to, my superior. She is a stress factor, okay? That's why I have to hoosa. Every time you see me hoosa on a video, it's because I have good reason. Okay, let us get started. This is another lip look I'm loving. If you can't tell already, I am in a massive, hear me now, a massive nude phase. Massive. Like, even, even shades that I kind of play with on Google and this, everything is nude. I am not in a red phase, a pink phase, a fuchsia phase, no, burgundy phase, wine phase. And these are kind of like winter colors, but nude. I'm in a nudie phase. I know much to a lot of people's um, disappointment, but I can't help it. I am in a massive nudie-ish phase. Just plain nude. Just, just, let's just call it spade a spade, okay? In a nude phase. I don't know why. I can't seem to get out of it. I'm falling in love with nudes more and more. I have no reason. No, no rhyme, no reason as to why. It's got nothing to do with videos that I've been watching. Not really, well. Is her name Angela Renee? She's a very, she's very big on nude lips. And I've recently subscribed to her. And she talks about nude lips a lot. It could be because of her. Like I said, I never want to blame myself, people. I got to find other people to blame, okay? I think, um... She be the reason. And sometimes the new she likes the nudes that I like. Like she likes brownie nudes. I love brownie nudes. There's an occasional pinky nude. It's all okay. Some of them are really nice. It's the brownie nudes. Love. Just love. That's all I have to say about that. Like a pinky nude would be the lip that I had yesterday. Even though NYX Euro Trash isn't really a nude color, but with the right liner. You know how I fell in love with yesterday's lip. I'm in love with this lip too. Because this is my um, MAC Touch Dupe lipstick that I'm using. Let us start off with the liner, shall we? It is a Bobbi Brown Creamy Lip Liner. And this is in the color chocolate. Right there. Chocolate. Lined and filled is the touch dupe called Fantasy. And this is an e.l.f. lipstick. And this is what Fantasy looks like. Touch dupe. Absolutely, positively. It's so much my skin tone that you can barely even find it. It's right there. And is it just me? I know there's got to be other people like me. You like when you're, or I like, I like when my lipsticks are kind of melting they're sort of melting they get like soft not mushy soft to the point where you can't use them anymore but just a kind of like a creamy softness like they've they've surpassed their newness and now they're just kind of creamy and they're just so much fun to just swipe on your lips it's just a nice creamy feel i love when my lipsticks get that way and this one just got that way love it ever so love it ever so and this was one I couldn't find 
my Mac Touch, or I, it was when I had given it away, and I was so sad that I had given it away, I found a Mac dupe, um, and come to find out, I, I bought the Mac Touch lipstick anyway, but this is the dupe for it. It's the e.l.f. lipstick in Fantasy. Yep. Thank goodness I know that this is e.l.f. Because the entire, the, the whole entire bullet doesn't even have e.l.f. on it. But I remember this being an e.l.f. lipstick. So there you go. Topped it off ever so lightly with an Urban Decay Clear Lips Lip Gloss in triple X, triple X shine in the color ozone. In the color, there really is no color. It's just a clear lip gloss. So it's not a combo because I'm not really combining two colors. I'm just adding a sheer gloss on top. And there you have it, people. That is it. That is all. Presently, I'm going through a remote control situation. I don't know if it's because my batteries, I'm praying that it is just the batteries, but all of a sudden, like, I can't, what is it? Is it the, the remote doesn't change? Yeah, it doesn't change channels. So I have to physically get up from the couch, go to the television, like I'm back in the 1970s and I have to change the channel. We'll really push the button. But like I, it just all of a sudden just started. It just started to just not work. Just started. But it, it what it does do is it turns on and off. Thank God for that. It turns on and off. But I can't up the volume. I can't put down the volume. I can't. So I think I have to buy either a new remote or... I need new batteries, like seriously new, new, new batteries, which is what I bought. I even ordered them, people. I, I don't go to stores anymore, people. I don't even, I don't go to drug stores anymore. I don't go to the Walgreens. I don't go to the Dwayne Reed. I don't go to the Rite Aid. I just order from Amazon. Anything that I want, I just order from Amazon. Just let it just come to me. I'm too old because when I get in my Jeep, I want to get in my Jeep and go straight home. I don't want to have to stop to go somewhere, pick something up and then go home. I just want to go home. So I get very lazy and I just order whatever the hell I want on Amazon. I don't go nuts, but you know, yeah, it, it's come to that people. It's come to that. It's come to that. Maybe it is laziness. I don't know. I just choose not to go to any drugstore. Because first of all, I really don't have that much cash on me. And I don't want to be tempted to buy anything that I will regret later on. So, just order from Amazon. Not credit card, by the way. Oh, you know Nancy can't do that. She can't. It's not that I don't want to. I cannot. So I go through, you know, other means necessary. So there you have it. So when the batteries arrive, which I think they'll arrive before Friday, I will uh, check the batteries and pray to sweet Jesus in heaven that I don't need a new remote. Even though I found the exact same remote that I already have on Amazon, of course. And I have it in my, um, you know, things like the things that I want. Put it on the side there just in case. There's actually two remotes, two different ones. I may have to order both just in case one doesn't work and now I've got the wrong one or whatever. One of them is bound to be the right one. So we shall see. And then this morning, I almost had a heart attack. Come to find out that we, we have another week of February, right? I'm I was thinking I was we were in our last week of February and I forgot to get you know whose um litter box, litter tray. I freaked out this morning. I said, Oh my god, I gotta order it right away. We've got another week. 
thank goodness. So it'll be here way before the next week. So I'm good with that. I bought that and the batteries. So I'm I'll be good. Just pray for me, people, because I can't afford I can't afford a new TV. I can't afford a new remote. I can't. Please don't tell me that the TV is going. You you, you can't be going now. I can't. Like I look like I do I look like I, I have money for a new television and one of them new fangled flat screen 3D LED you know, I I'm just now getting used to my new phone. You want me to get used to a new TV too? I mean my TV is a flat screen, but it still got a big fat ass. You know, one of them fat ass I'm old school people. I wait until things break the hell down before I get a new anything. Make the best of what you got. I'm not wasteful. I'm not, ooh, it came out. I must get it. No, I've never been that kind of a person, thanks to my parents, because we know how to use up what we have. We don't, we don't, we're not into the next, oh, it's new. I got to get it. Oh, it's new. I got to get it. No, I've never been that type of person, thanks to my parents. They had to scrimp and save for everything that they own or owned, my mom. So they've never been wasteful, and I learned that lesson growing up, never to be wasteful. Use the things that you've got, with the exception of lipsticks and cosmetics and such. That's my own rule. Um, but, you know, material, like appliances and, and things of that nature. Use them up until they break down. Then you buy a new thing. You don't have to buy the whole. That's why I had my old phone for so long. It did what it had to do. But now technology is so advanced that I had no choice but to get a new phone. You know what I mean? So I'm very thankful. Hello? That's my baby right here. What? I love this thing to death. And I'm probably not even using it to its it, to its potential, but it does what it needs to do. And I can do online. Hello. I could Facebook. I could Amazon. I could. It's just a walking computer that I just have fun with when I have the chance. Which doesn't seem likely anytime soon with this damn new project coming my way. Not that I'm at work to play with my phone, but, you know, answering the phones and dealing with people throughout the day. Like, I have to deal with people, like, the second I walk in. Because sometimes I already have people waiting at the reception area. They don't even wait until I take off my coat. They see me walk in behind the desk, and they're automatically standing up. Yeah, I'd like some this, this, and that. Like, not even a hello, not even a good morning. Sometimes I have to look at them and say, can I, can I take off my coat? Can I do that? And then they're the ones that get the attitude. You're attacking me before I even get behind the desk. So what do you want me to do for you? Do you see the level of stress? I'm supposed to win the lottery, right? I mean, it's supposed to be in the cards for me. I'm supposed to win. Got to be in it to win it, though, right? I need another scratch off. Okay. Well, that's it. That's all. This is Lips of the Day. You know I'm in love. In love. Speaking of in love, there is a lipstick, Amazon. I may order it tonight. I don't know because the price went down again. It was originally, I think, 20 something. Then it went down to 15. Then it went down to 10. And I think right now it's like $6.99. It's a Rimmel lipstick in the name Casbah. K-A-S-B-A-H. I've got to look this. I think I saw it. Once I saw it on somebody or somewhere and I said, oh, sweet Jesus in heaven, I've got to get this lipstick. I need to look at it again. And if it grabs me like it did the first time, I'm placing that order tonight. Okay. For $6.99.
I don't know how much a Rimmel lipstick is nowadays because like I said, I don't do the drugstore thing. I just go to Amazon. But I saw the price kept going down, 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 down. I was like, what? I think it's actually $3.99 the last time I looked. So I better hop on that before somebody realizes, oh, that's too low. We got to up the price again. No, you don't, bitch. Leave it alone. Let me get it at that price. And then you can up it to the heart's content afterwards. Okay. All right. So let me take a look at the Casbah again. And then if I really still love it ever so, I will place an order. I know people. I'll never grow up. But at least I'm not I'm not going like that shit crazy. I'm not ordering a thousand and one things. That's that's never gonna happen again. I'm not doing hauls anymore. I'm sorry. It's just it's it's what it is. But occasionally you will see me buy a trinket or two. Okay. So I'm not out of the game completely, but yes, I am still shopping my stash, having the time of my life, as you can tell, having the time of my life with my nudes presently until maybe the reds bite me again and then I'll be in a red phase. But right now, I am in a nude, I'm in the nude universe right now. And not that I'm looking to get out because I do love me some nudes. And once upon a time, way back when, I thought I never could do nudes. Yes, you can. Um, I'm having the time of my life with the nudes. Plus, it also has to do with what I'm wearing. You understand? Because this is a rather neutral kind of beige color. You know. So, the lips always follow with what I'm wearing. If I'm wearing like a neutral-ish color, like I think yesterday I was wearing black. And I had that gorgeous Euro Trash lip look. And today I've got I've got a little beige mixed with a little brown. Nude. Okay. All depends on what I'm wearing, people. Always. That's how color coordinated I am. Okay. So yes, do not give up hope on me. I will eventually turn the tide. I will jump to a burgundy or a wine or a hot red. Just hang in there. Just hang in there. I won't, I won't disappoint you. Eventually, you'll see me with some bright red oranges. And because spring and summer is coming around the corner. But like I always say, I'm not one to stick to the rule of, oh, well, it's spring and summer. Got to always wear my spring and summer um, lipsticks and blushes. And No, I don't go by the seasons. I go by what I want to wear. Sometimes a dress that I'm wearing in the summertime calls for me to wear a deep, dark lip. Sometimes something that I'm wearing in the wintertime, a.k.a. this big, thick-ass sweater that I'm wearing, calls for a nude or a, 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 a nice, bright red or whatever. It, it just depends on A, how I feel, B, what I'm wearing. That's it. That's really how I go about picking out everything that I wear on my face. So there you have it. Okay, so I know that some of y'all might be tired of my nudes. Hang in there. I will change eventually. Okay. I love you people. I really do. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think of this lip look. And I will talk to you tomorrow. If any of you have Mac Touch, let me know if you like it. Do you like it? Do you not like it? It's I think it's a luster. I think Mac Touch is a luster, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. This is like a cream lipstick to me. The fantasy dupe. The elf fantasy dupe. I think it's more of a cream, which is why I needed to put a little gloss on top because it was kind of dull. So the gloss gives it just an, a kick of life. It's what I do, people. I really should have been a cosmetologist or in the makeup industry somehow, some kind of way. Say la vie. All right. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think about everything. And I will talk to you tomorrow. I love you. Mwah. Bye now.